Introduction to Data Loggers What is a data logger? A data logger is an electronic device that records data over time. So now what do we actually mean by this recording of data over time? Here data is any physical parameter that can be measured electronically and after the data is converted to digital form it is logged to some kind of non-volatile memory like EEPROM, flash, SD card or an USB device. Here you can see that data logger is recording data against time and here our data is ambient temperature which is on the second column and it is recorded against time means at what time what was the ambient temperature and here our recording interval is about 30 minutes so the first reading was taken at 10 30 am and the data that is temperature was 31 degree centigrade and at 11 am it was 31.2 degree centigrade in the same way the data logger logs our data against the time and later on the same data can be plotted in a graphical form like this in old days a human operator has to manually look at the measuring instrument uh, which is a thermometer in case of temperature and has to manually note down the readings on a paper using pen. This method was very boring and highly error prone. In modern world we use data logger for such things. There are some problems associated with traditional data loggers. The first is that to retrieve log data, a person must go to the site where the data logger is installed and then the person has to remove the SD card or the USB drive and then take it with him. And in some cases, this area might be very far remote or even hazardous like a deep forest. And another problem is that there might be thousands of data loggers installed and in this case, a single person cannot visit all the site to collect data. In a web-based data logger, data is not logged to the local non-volatile memory but uploaded to a web server using an internet connection. On the web server, the data is stored in a database like MySQL. Then the user simply need to log into a web application in order to view and download the data. This is much easy and advanced compared to the traditional data loggers. And in this lesson of our course, we will learn step by step process how to make our own web based data loggers. Modern ARM based microcontrollers like STM32 have lots of processing power and RAM to run software stacks that enable internet connectivity very easily. And various low cost chips are available that can enable different kind of connectivity like Ethernet, Wi-Fi etc on our microcontroller. These days fast and reliable internet connection has become very cheap and all these factors make web based data logger the best choice for the current time. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson. IOTens.com Our IoT platform web application. Our web based data logger has two major components. The first one is the firmware part which runs on our STM32 device. And the second one is our web application part which runs on the actual web server or our cloud server. The firmware part which runs on the device collects data from the sensor and our firmware then pushes or uploads this data to our web server using the global internet. And it can use any of the available channels like Ethernet, Wi-Fi or even cellular 4G networks. And to push or upload this data we use the HTTP protocol. And finally, our web application stores the data in a local database. So our firmware part runs on the STM32 device and is written using the C programming language. And all my students are already familiar with these topics. On the other hand, writing the web application part is a totally different thing. And this web application part, it runs on our cloud or web server. And they are written using the PHP programming language along with MySQL for data storage. And they can use frameworks like Laravel which is a PHP MVC framework. 
and on the client side that means the front end that runs in the user's browser it is written using html javascript css and they can use libraries like bootstrap jquery etc and i think my students may not be familiar with all these topics so uh, it may be harder for them to develop a web application from scratch and so to ease their uh, this entire development cycle i am providing a fully ready made web application for my students so that they can focus on writing this form part they don't have to worry about this web application part and it will make their journey far easy and the name of this web application is iotens and you can access it using the url app.iotens.com the link is given in the resource section of this lecture when you go to the given url you will be prompted to register an account for yourself and this is very easy you just have to provide some basic detail about yourself and hit the register button that's it my iotens application supports a wide variety of iot devices but for this tutorial i will use a very simple one that is the temperature and humidity logger once you have successfully created your account you can log into your account anytime you wish and from your dashboard you can view the data that are coming from your iot devices so here i am logging into my account successfully logged in and here from the left hand navigation uh, we can go to the device list and this list so all the devices that are available under your account the free account supports only a single device that is a temperature and humidity logger and the purpose of this free account is only to teach you how to create your own data logger focusing mainly on the firmware part and this li device list view it shows all the vital information associated with all of the devices in your account in a single glance in a single page so from here we can see that we have two devices in our account and we can see that what is the type of those device so first device is the temperature and humidity logger while the second one is the io device and both of my device that means all of my device plan status is in active state and if my devices have integrated gps that means the, uh, they can upload the latitude and longitude of those devices we also have the option to view the current location of the device in a map in google map or other maps we will have a link to google map with the lat and long here in this column that is map column and after that we have different type of devices that is we have battery powered devices we have uh, mains powered devices so currently all of my devices are ac mains powered and on the other hand if uh, my devices were battery powered we will have a nice gauge or a level here so we can see the current status the current level of the batteries on those devices and if our device is based on some wireless technology like Wi-Fi or cellular LTE, then we can also view the signal, the current signal status, how much is the signal strength there on the devices. And we also have a manual location setting here. That means we can edit and put a location here. That means if our device don't have integrated GPS, you can simply put a tag where you have placed the location uh, that means uh, you can place like something like uh, like near the main gate or in my garden something like that any textual location information here and if those devices use cellular network we can view the sim number here and uh, this is the most important thing here the connection status so right now all of my devices are in offline state and that is indicated by these gray dots here and if we start receiving a flow of data from these iot devices then these dots will turn green and we can also view the validity of the plans of these devices you can see that uh, the validity of my this devices is still 15th of april 2025 so after that i have to renew this device i have to recharge this device and for that i have to pay a nominal fee to this company that is iotens and they charge this fee on an annual basis now let us try to push some data in our iot based temperature and humidity logger to make our development easier i have even created a simulator for this so that every time we don't have to use an actual device to push data to our this iot platform we can use this simulator and right now i am using this simulator for a temperature and humidity logger device so this simulator application can act as an actual device and it can push data to this endpoint 
and from there we can receive those data in our dashboard and visualize them to push data to a specific device we need its id and here we have the id or the device code so just copy it from here whatever is your device code and then put it here in the simulator that is device code section just here like this so after that we will be able to push data to this specific device that is 368146 now we have to click the start button to start data logging and we can adjust the temperature and humidity from here from these two sliders and we can set our log interval from here right now it is set to 10 seconds so every 10 seconds it will read these two sliders and push data to the server so as soon as i will click start uh, you will receive a notification here in our platform that this device is connected and this little gray dot will turn to green indicating an online device so without wasting any more time let us start let me hit the start button and now let us go to our dashboard and wait for the device connection so this simulator will send this data after 10 seconds after 10 seconds so it has now sent the data and here we go we have an active connection we have a connected device here and you can also see that uh, this has turned green indicating an online device and from here you can tell that uh, the last message was received two seconds ago and to view the device specific dashboard that is the details of temperature and humidity we have to click this link that is the device id and it will open up the device detail page like this and here you will find beautiful graphs like this for temperature and humidity and on the top you will have a device common details by common details i mean these data are common to almost any type of device it does not matter what is the type of the device right now it is a temperature and humidity logger uh, it can also be a gps logger and here in this dashboard we have all the data updated at real time so we can see that when we received last message from the device it was only two seconds ago that means the device is actively online and our device is up and running from about two minutes and 10 seconds and you can also see that these graphs are updated at real time so let me change from the simulator let me increase the temperature a bit like this and let me increase the humidity also like this and let us go to the graph to see the changes uh, uh, that's it you can see the temperature rising the humidity rising like this so these are updated at real time so using this dashboard your user can visualize any kind of data at real time and below these graphs we have nice charts so in tabular manner we are presented with the information we have temperature we have humidity we have the date and time stamp like this and this table is also updated at real time so when we increase the temperature earlier it was 18 degrees centigrade so here we can point it was 18 degrees centigrade and after that it increased to like this 35.6 degree so here we have three more logs of this 35 degree centigrade and this simulator will help you debug any kind of problems with this dashboard so i recommend you to go create your own account download this simulator and try running this dashboard on your own computer have some fun with it and then we will move on to see how we can create our own firmware that can actually send these sensor data to our dashboard and from uh, where our user can easily visualize those data so let me show you the real time update of this table also so right now the temperature is 35.6 degrees centigrade and humidity is 52.6 percent so let me increase it a bit uh, like this decreasing let us decrease the humidity and go back to our dashboard to see when oh see uh, here we have some update i think oh like this we have so right now 10 14 am and here we have 10 14 am and we have the change temperature we have the lowered humidity like this and let me show you one more interesting user experience so what will happen if we turn off our iot device or we will stop this simulator what will happen so let us see the user experience let me stop the simulator and close it and go back to our dashboard so here you'll get a nice notification and also audio alarm for this device disconnection so let us wait for that so on next refresh it will come to know that our device has been turned off and it is now offline uh, 
approximately after 60 second it will uh, mark the device as offline if you have the last message uh, that is older than 60 second here we have notification that is device disconnected and we have overlay like this now this dashboard will look like a disabled one so this is the case when our device gets offline now let us see what happens if we turn on the device once again or we will start the simulator hit the start button now it is running wait for 10 seconds for a data log we will just go back to our dashboard to see the crate so you can see here now the overlay has been removed and our device is now online once again. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.